Okay, so continuing with this <coughs> test part again. Let's do that. Uh, exercise 3.5, question B1. Subheading <coughs> uh, 2. So here, given to us is uh, 2x plus y is equal to 5. So, while doing this exercise, solving by cross multiplication, make sure x term is in first place, y term second place. This C1 or C2, both should be on right side, or both should be on left side. Let me explain that after we write this again. 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. So this is fine. What I mean by that is, this is already fine, meaning x term in first place y term in second place and c1 and c2 in this exercise okay every sum both on the right side right the term contain which does not contain x and y is called c1 c2 are both on the right side that's okay or both should be on left side that's also okay but c1 on left side and c2 on right side not like that okay and or c1 on right side and c2 on left side not like that, that is going to cause problem for you, so keep that in mind. Both C1 and C2 should be both on left side, both on right side or both on left side. From equations 1 and 2, as we have been doing, the question is saying whether they have unique solution, no solution or infinite number of solutions. First find out, so let us just first find out that one, so A1 by a2 will be a1 and a2 are the coefficients of x so here in the first one coefficient of x is 2 divided by here coefficient of x is 3 so can't cancel so you can keep it like that then b1 by b2 is equal to b1 and b2 are the coefficients of y so here in front of y no number means plus 1 here in front of y no 2 so plus 2 can cancel so we can keep it like that immediately we see a1 by a2 and b1 are b, b1 by b2 are not equal see 2 by 3 and 1 by 2 are not equal so it's the first case so if we find that they are not equal we need not bother to find out c1 by c2 because we need to find out c1 by c2 only when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 as you can see in both these cases but if they are not equal there is no necessity to find C1 by C2 because we already know they have unique solution. So, therefore, the given pair of equations, that means the given pair of linear equations, have a unique solution. By that we mean they will have one value of x and one value of y so we can solve by cross multiplication now because in case of unique solution there will be only one value of x and one value of y so you can solve by any algebraic method substitution elimination like in the previous chapter exercises we've done or in this exercise we're going to do by cross multiplication these three are called algebraic method substitution elimination and cross multiplication so this exercise they're saying if they have unique solution then solve by cross multiplication look into your question last sentence in case there is a unique solution find it by using cross multiplication method so we can write here by cross multiplication okay by cross multiplication method Keep this in mind, okay, slowly. So here, x divided by, in the first part of cross multiplication method, we write x divided by, then remember it this way, bc minus bc, x by in the denominator, bc minus bc, just keep that in mind, okay, four or five times you can say it, bc minus bc, bc minus bc. What does that mean in terms of cross multiplication? That means bc minus bc means, b up c down so here 
first one is called B up here. B means coefficient of y. So here no number in front of y. So B up into multiply to C down. So C is this one, 8. And put minus. This minus is from the formula. So minus BC minus BC means B up, C down. So this time uh, B down, C up. So B down is plus 2, as we can see. The coefficient of Y is called B. C up here. No num no sign in front is plus, so plus 5. And after we're done with that, then next is Y. So Y will be X by BC minus BC. Y by AB minus AB. X by BC minus BC. Y by... Oh, sorry. Y by CA minus CA, sorry. X by BC minus BC. Y by CA minus CA. CA minus CA. Keep that in your mind. Cross multiplication. So cross multiplication means C up, up and down. So C up is 5. Start from up. First, that's better. Okay, C up, A down. Because A is the coefficient of X. And now C, after that, we put minus. Then first time C up. A down, now C down, A up, C down, no signs of plus 8, A up, so no signs of plus 2 again, coefficient of X is called A. And finally, the last part here, first part then equal sign, second part then equal sign, so there are three parts, and the third part, now, if your C1 and C2 like here, 5 and 8, are both on right side, then in the third part, we put minus 1. If both are on the left side, then we put plus 1. Okay. Since both are on the right side here, we put minus 1. And as I said previously, C1 is on right side, but C2 is on left side. Should not be like that. Meaning, here, this equation should not be this plus 8 comes this side, minus 8 equal to 0. So here, 5c1 on right side of equal sign and here c2 minus 8 on the left side then we cannot solve okay it will become wrong so both on right side is fine both on the left side and when both c1 and c2 are on right side we put minus 1 so as i said x by bc minus bc keep in your mind y by ca minus ca ca minus ca then minus 1 or plus 1 by ab minus ab so a up is the coefficient of x a B down, so B is the coefficient of Y, so B down is 2. So the up and down multiplication is called cross multiplication. A up, B down. After that minus from the formula. And B, A down, B up. So A down is 3, B up is 1. As you can see here, coefficient of Y is no numbers of plus 1. We can simplify, so we can write here X by. Now brackets here means we have to multiply. So plus into plus is plus. One eight are eight minus into plus is minus. Two fives are ten. Then here y divided by plus into plus is plus. And five threes are fifteen. Minus into plus is minus. And eight twos are sixteen. Okay. That will be equal to minus one divided by plus into plus plus. And two twos are four. Then here minus into plus is minus because the brackets here indicate they have to be multiplied. And three ones are three. You can still simplify, so you can write your x divided by eight minus ten is minus two. Let me show you how it's coming. Minus ten bigger absolute value always up. Smaller one absolute value down. No sign means plus eight. Minus plus is subtraction, so 10 minus 8, 2. Bigger number has minus sign, so here minus. So that's how you're getting here. 8 minus 10 is called a minus 2. So I won't be showing in detail like this for this because you don't know. 15 minus 16 is minus 1 because the bigger absolute value has minus sign, so here minus. Then here, minus 1 by 4 minus 3 is plus 1. Right, so plus 1. So we can just write once more if we like x by minus 2 first part second part y by minus 1 and the third part is minus 1 by 1 means 
you can simply write it as minus 1. Now, so this is called cross multiplication, up and down multiplication. This step is crucial. We have to be very cautious with this step and once we get this step wrong because if we get this step wrong, everything else after that will become wrong. So taking the first part, taking first and third parts, okay. Why I'll show you, because the first part has x, x by minus 2. This is called first part, then equal sign. Second part, equal sign, and third part first, second, third part. I took first and third part, so they'll be equal to minus 1, first and third part. Why? Because first part has x and third part is a constant number with not unknown quantity. So that way we can easily find your x. So x on the numerator don't touch. The denominator term minus 2 shifted and it will go to the numerator and multiply with minus 1. So minus and the minus plus <coughs> the ones are 2. So x is equal to 2 we are getting. Then to find the y, taking second and third parts. Okay, second and third parts. Because second part, this time because we want to find y, so y is in second part, first, second part, and third part here. Sorry, first, second, third, second, and third. Third part is 1. So that way we can write here, sorry, minus 1. And y is equal to y. Don't shift that. We want to find y, so y is equal to. Minus and the minus will go up. So minus and minus plus. One ones are one. So therefore, the required solution means the answer for x and y. So x is equal to here. So you can see two. And y is equal to one. We have solved and found this value x and y by cross multiplication method. Next, let us go and do. One more question is left. B1 subheading 4. Here, let's read the question. First one is x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. Let us keep this one as 1. Seems to be okay because x term first place, y term second place, and c1 on the left side. Then, next equation 3x minus. 3y minus 15 equal to 0. So both are okay because they are exactly matching x term first place, y term second place, and c1 and c2 both on left side. See here 0 means c1 and c2 is minus 7 and 5, minus 15. Both on left side, that's okay. Both on left side or both c1 and c2 on right side is okay. One on the left side and one on right side, not okay. Okay. So let us, I'm repeating because that's important. Let's do this. So here, from equations one and two. Okay, a one by a two is equal to coefficients of x. So here, in front of x, no number, so plus one here. In front of x, no number, so a two is plus three. Can't cancel, so we can keep it like that. And then b1 by b2 is coefficients of y here. So in front of y is the coefficient of y. b1 minus 3 and b2 also minus 3. So these two minus cancel and 3 ones are 3 ones are 3. So 1 by 1 is 1. a1 by a2 equal to 1 by 3. b1 by b2 is equal to 1 means they are not equal. This case, unique solution again. So therefore, the given equations have a unique solution that means it has got one value for x and one value for y therefore because it has unique solution we can solve by cross multiplication again so let us do that so here
Okay, so here by cross multiplication x by bc minus bc. So here b is the coefficient of y. So b up into c down and c is minus 50. Be very careful in these steps because one you get one wrong, everything else will go wrong. And minus from the formula. Okay. B up, C down. This time B down, C up. So B down is minus 3 again. Okay. This minus is from here. B down. C up is here. Minus 7. Okay. So that is X. Then Y divided by <coughs> BC minus BC. Then we learn even in the previous one, C M minus C A. Y by C M minus C A. So C up minus 7. A down is the coefficient of x, a is the coefficient of x, so c up, a down is, <coughs> no sign means plus 3, minus from the formula, then bracket, c up, a down, no, so this time after the minus, c down, a up, so c down is minus 15, a up is, no number here, means plus 1, so once we're true, then we can write your long line, and look at your C1 and C2, C1 minus 7, C2 minus 15, both are on left side means put your plus 1. Previous one we solved, both are on right side, so we put minus. But here both C1 and C2 are on left side, so we put plus 1 by AB minus AB. So A up is the coefficient of X plus 1, B down minus 3, minus this time... <coughs> A down, B up. So A down is plus 3. B up is minus 3. So we write here. Minus 3. Okay, so here we have X by <coughs> minus to minus plus. 3 into 15 is 45. Then minus to minus plus. Plus to minus, minus. After you multiply the sign only, you multiply the number. 3 sevens are. 21. That's the best way and the best habit to follow. So y divided by <coughs> minus no plus minus 7 trees are 21 and minus no minus plus plus no plus plus. So 15 ones are 15 is equal to 1 divided by <coughs> sorry plus no minus minus your plus into minus minus 1 trees are 3 and minus into minus is plus 3 trees are 9. Okay, so we're going to get here x divided by 45 bigger, put it up, plus no sign in front. So here 21 has minus in front, so put minus. <coughs> so plus minus means subtraction. So we can just do here 5 minus 4 is 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. And bigger is 45 has plus sign, so here also plus. 45 minus 24, therefore, is 20 plus 24. Y divided by bigger one is minus 21. Smaller one is plus 15. So again, subtraction. Minus plus or plus minus means subtraction. So 11 minus 5, 6, right? And 1 is taken from here, so that's it. <coughs> so we write here, 21 minus 15 is minus 6. Is equal to 1 divided by plus 9 minus 3, bigger one up, smaller one down, plus minus subtract, 9 minus 3, 6. Bigger number, 9 is plus sign, so here also plus so 1 by 6. I hope that's coming out to be the book answer, right? So, here, we write here, to find the x taking first and third parts, okay, first and third parts, because first part contain x here, see, x by 24, first part, second and third part, and third part, because third part is a constant number with no unknown quantities, so we want to find x, so put x alone, don't move that, it's still on the numerator, denominator 24, if you shift, it will go and multiply this numerator one, so 24 ones are 24 divided by down here is 6, 6 ones are 6, right, 6 fours are 24, so x value equal to 4 we got. Then <coughs> to find y, likewise, similarly also you can put, similarly taking second 
and third parts okay because second part has y as you can see here y by minus six third part second and third first second third so second and third because second is y term y factor and we want to find y so third part is constant number one by six so we can write that y don't move that denominator minus shifted we we'll go and multiply this one so minus the plus minus six ones are six divided by down here is six <coughs> six ones are six six ones are six so minus one by one is minus one so finally you can we can write down therefore the required solution is here x value equal to here 4 and y value here equal to minus 1 so that completes the part for uh, uh, test 3.5 hey, i hope you've got it okay